Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So what I have right here is a Sentinel 10 gun heavy gauge steel security cabinet designed for storing firearms, storing ammunition. I picked this one up to actually store ammunition, to stack on a bunch of cases and just have something kind of a little bit more secure with a little two year old running around, have the ammunition all stored safely away. Now, first things first, not a gun safe, all right? So what could this be used for, you might ask? All right, so it is just heavy steel. We'll talk about some of the features that it comes with. We'll talk about the security aspects of it, but primarily the best use for it is something where you are just starting out with a firearm collection. You are moving around a lot. Maybe you live in an apartment. Maybe you live in a place where it's hard to fit or justify having a large, heavy fireproof safe. Because those fireproof safes, unless you buy a cheap one, which I do not recommend, the nice Liberty safes or other expensive brands for safes, very heavy, cumbersome to move. Now these cabinets are not gonna provide the same security as that, but they're better than nothing. And they are part of a layered security system that you should have. In fact, one of the reviews coming up I have is gonna be on some cloud-based security cameras. And we'll talk about some of the best ones on the market. Technology is always improving. And this is just one more level of security you can have on top of everything else in your house, in your apartment, wherever you have a residency. So steel cabinet, all right. Uh, actual dimensions are 17 inches wide by 13 and a half inches deep by 53 inches high. All right, these can be bought right on Amazon, shipped right to your door. Packaging is really nice, nice big box. All the corners are protected. You can see right now it was not damaged at all during shipping. Price is really good. All right, they go out of stock all the time on Amazon, shipped right to your door, I think for like 139 Great deal. Another company makes some uh, called Stack On, very similar. And I'll talk about some of the features that this safe comes with right now. Let's take a look. So first thing, you have a keyed entry security cabinet door right here. All right, comes with two keys. Looks like this. All right, two double bit keys. All right, a little more secure. Insert, real nice. The key mechanism itself is very nice quality. No issues there. All right, quick quarter turn to the right and she just pops open. All right, and now as she pops open, you can see right here, that is one of the locking points right there. And there's also locking points up on the top and the bottom. All right, so when this turns with the key, it pushes the top and the bottom down. So there are a total of three points for locking inside the lip of this cabinet. All right, let's take a look inside. So it's very dark inside the safe, as you can imagine. It's even harder to tell on camera what it kind of looks like inside the safe here. But basically what it comes with is it comes with a shelf right here. All right, so the metal shelf goes all the way to the back. There is no lip in the back here. However, there is a little bit of buffer here, and that is for to actually go ahead and put rifles on the side. All right, because technically it's designed to have six long guns in the back and then two on each side in the forward. That's why this is a little bit deeper than some of the smaller like eight gun stack on cases you might have seen. All right, now going kind of going on down, this is screwed in right here from the sides, comes with the whole screw kit. So none of this is already put in here. Coming down, you have a uh, six rack piece of terrible crap foam, all right, with a little sticky back, all right, and we're gonna talk about how you can fix this. I have some upgrades I can talk about, and these upgrades could work not only for this, but also for your current gun safe if you already have a nice one. All right, going on down here, you'll see here are the two side pieces right here. Now, again, this had sticky tape in the back, as you can tell, terrible quality with this foam that comes with here. Honestly, it is completely useless. Tape already fell off, but they are designed to stick on the sides like this. That way you have your rifles lined up here and you have your two um, using the depth of the safe to, or the cabinet to actually put two more rifles right there. But, already fell apart, so what are you gonna do? Foam on the bottom, eh, same kind of foam, but decent thickness, not too bad. And you can already tell there are holes. There are holes all over here, right? There are two large holes underneath here. This can be hard to see, as well as there's a small hole right there. Two small holes on the bottom. That, that is designed to drill into the floor, and that's part of the security of this cabinet. It's obviously not a safe. However, you can secure it to your house via the floor, as well as the studs in the wall, okay? Because there's our holes in the back. There's even a couple on this side, on the top and the bottom, one over here, and that'll help adjust depending on where your studs are, if you want to use anchor points, things like that. You do want to hit as many studs as possible with this for better security. 
talking now I was talking earlier about the locking on the top and the bottom. There it is right there. You can see how it comes up and down. So a decent little lock up there. And there's a tag if you want to learn a little bit more. Right. On the top here, you can see there they did provide a couple of holes here. So you can actually go and secure another cabinet on top, or if you'd like to um, go ahead and build some kind of shelving, you have a way to screw that in place here and lock it in there. Or even if you have a perfect space with maybe a shelf above it that is already kind of secured to the wall, you can probably drill this into the shelf from the inside here, and that'll help secure it even more. As you saw earlier in the video, this thing is not very heavy. It's very easy to move, and that's one of the benefits if you were looking to use this as a kind of basic level security for your firearms in an apartment complex or someplace like that where you are moving around a lot, maybe you don't have the space for it. This will fit nicely tucked away inside of a uh, closet or something like that. All right, so now comes the fun part. So you saw what this comes like from the factory, what accessories come with it, how it comes shipped to your door. I mean, no damage or anything like that, which is great. The foam does kind of suck, which, you know, whatever. But uh, I did find some solutions to all that. All right, I even went ahead and threw a uh, little Olight flash up here for now to show you, but I fixed that issue as well. So let's go ahead and take this, how it's configured with the foam and the light and the shelf, and let's go ahead, this. So what did I do? So I didn't do much of the shelf here, that remained the same. Um, I did go ahead and add one of these EvaDry uh, renewable mini dehumidifiers right here. They've been working great. I use this in my current fire safe right here and it's been working great for years. All right, all you have to do is un uh, plug it into a wall every week or so and right now the, the little dots here, the little beads are actually kind of pink color, not really too blue and what they're going to want to do is you plug it in the back here and it dries it out and keeps the humidity down in your safe or cabinet. Alright, going over here you'll see this is a full size Beretta 92FS in a lockdown mesh uh, magnetic kind of uh, accessory that can stick to the side of anything metal or can go and be pinned. There's pins that come with it to pin on the kind of carpeted panel you get in some safes on the door itself. Very cool, um, holds up great. You can probably fit another four or five along the edge here if you don't want to put um, rifles on down here. Moving over here, you have a piece of foam. All right, it is a much, much high quality foam. Higher quality than the other crap foam that it came with. This is called a, uh, five, I think it's called the 5.9 Rigid Foam. It's on Amazon. In fact, everything I review on here uh, is it gonna be on Amazon. It's gonna be in the description if you guys are interested. So click those links below if you're interested at all. Uh, but this is actually a 5.9. So what 5.9 means is that you can either do nine rifles that are not full of accessories, not a bunch of scopes or flashlights or things like that, or you can probably fit in about five. All right, so you can see how you can actually go and move these around. You either tuck them in the deep pocket here and then tuck another one behind it, um, actually in front of it right here. Or if you have a light and a scope and a red dot like this one here, you can tuck it in and you can fit five perfectly along the edge here. And then I went ahead and there's another one here with a scope here. You can put right here and lean it against and you still have plenty of room up here which is very nice you don't have to worry about anything kind of bumping around getting scraped up you don't have to worry about hitting the roof of some of the of some of the shorter cabinets you've seen so great way to do this and this is magnetic all right but as you can tell much higher quality foam than what we previously had so moving over here you'll see i put a full size mosa nagant in here and it actually goes up to the the door right here, so there's no problem with it uh, bumping the door. Sometimes, some of the shorter safes, you have to kind of tuck these in and kind of watch out for the door with the full length Mosin. But as you can tell, the Mosin fits all the way down, no problems there. So let's talk about something that's really cool is the lighting. You can see that there's some beams on each side here. I went ahead and took one of the lights down to show you guys up close. All right, and here she is. All right, this is a two string piece of light, LEDs with backing. I went, went ahead and just taped it up for you guys to show you, but when you install these, basically you peel away the backing on each of these sides here, and that's gonna go and tuck into the corners like so, and illuminate the entire 
safe, which is really cool. Really nice lighting. And let me show you guys how these work real quick. So if you go to the bottom of the cabinet here, you'll see this modular right here. This little piece right here has some sticky uh, piece on the back as well. And you can go ahead and stick it like this. You can stick it on the floor. You can go and stick it on the sidewall here. Wherever you want to stick it, it doesn't really matter as long as you want to keep it organized. And you have to have this bulb right here visible. It does have a kind of like 180 degree um, in any direction. Uh, uh, view finder right there. So you don't have to worry about that, but this is a motion sensor, all right? This is the part that when you open the door of your safe or your cabinet, these lights right here, these strips of LEDs will come on for about four to five minutes and then they'll shut off when uh, after you close it. And the best part is you don't have to worry about batteries because this runs on a power cord leading out. You can actually run the cord through one of the holes. I put it on the bottom because I have carpet anyways. So if I put this anywhere, if I want to have lights in here for the ammo cabinet or whatever you have, um, you can go ahead and run them through one of the cord, the, the actual ports on the sides of the gun cabinet, or you can run it through the floor, or you can drill a new hole, whichever you want to do. And actually you can kind of fit through this crack here on the bottom lip here if you'd like to. You can kind of fit in the corner here and run it to an outlet outside of the cabinet cabinet and that makes it so you have a powered LED lighting system that you don't have to worry about any batteries or anything like that. So great option for lighting up a cabinet or a safe. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review on this Sentinel gun cabinet right here. It does have its place. I mean, it's not a gun safe, that's for sure. However, like I said, there's, there's reasons for having something a little bit lighter. And again, this is just something that is a part of a layered security system within your home. And if you can afford a fire safe, you can afford a nicer gun safe, go ahead and do it. I mean, that's what we did, but this is something still good to have if you're just starting out, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, but you still want to have your firearm secured at all times. Um, one other thing I did find is this uh, Alritz, right here I think it's called Alritz gun magnet. All right, so this what you could do is you can either use the screw holes um, on either side to screw it to your cabinet or wherever really, um, or you can go ahead and grab one of those high strength command strips and put it on the back. They can hold like 25 pounds or something like that. Um, and then you can go ahead and use this instead of the lockdown mesh, because what this does is you can use it to hold up a handgun. Either hold them on the sides, hold it up straight, whichever you want to do. These are actually designed for vehicles and things like that as well. Um, but they are high strength and rubberized coated magnets. Um, great for a gun cabinet or a vehicle, something like that. So that's another option if you weren't, if you're looking to put a bunch of handguns in here, or if you even want to use this to rest the barrel up against, um, so the barrels aren't sliding around in any way. Um, that could be a good way to go. Um, so that's it, guys. If you have any questions at all, hit them in the comments below. Everything you saw in this video, I'll try to find on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below as well. So check that out. Um, a lot of this stuff is really neat, especially the lighting system. That stuff is great. I mean, if you don't have a light in your safe already, get that because then every time you open the safe up or the cabinet up, you have lights on, ready to go. You don't have to worry about having a flashlight or things like that. So that's an awesome option. Um, if you haven't already, follow us over on Facebook, Outdoor Enthusiast channel. I post all the greatest deals from Amazon, Primary Arms, Brownells, uh, Palmetto St. Armory, you name it. So other than that, if you enjoyed the review, hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next review.